went to back. Sakura was shot. Remember? No. I was driving in a car. Oh, I remember the exact. Uh, I have no idea. Going to Jack in the Box, and my friend was vomiting out the window. That is the worst alibi I have ever heard. Welcome back. No Murder Mystery is complete without a hard-boiled reporter, and we have got her right here. She's formerly worked for the Las Vegas Sun and is the author of The Killing of Tupac Shakur. Please welcome Kathy Scott. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. Hi. So, Kathy, you did a lot of uh, investigative journalism in Las Vegas, and who do you think killed Tupac? Well, I think sometimes um, things um, are not as complex as they appear. Um, you know, sometimes you boil it down, and you it's think very simple. Are simple sometimes? I think this is real simple. Huh. What, what's so I think uh, Orlando Anderson, all uh, all evidence points to Orlando Anderson killing Tupac Shakur, and it appears as if it was a either a personal beef or um, a gang uh, rivalry. I think the gang the gang rivalry um, between between a couple of people turned into the East Coast West Coast rap war. It just got the fans carried up, the media carried up. Um, I covered this case from 5:30 a.m. in the morning. Tupac was shot. And Shug definitely had nothing to do with it. Now, Suge Knight, you know, being the the, the um, well liked man he is by the Las Vegas and LAPD. I never know you're department. kidding. He, yes, but let me tell you, if there were one shred of evidence that uh, Suge Knight had anything to do with that murder, they would have indicted him in five seconds. Yeah. Well, also, why would Suge Knight end up going to jail for the for the fight earlier yeah, that evening? Why, Randall? Why would Suge yeah. Knight hire somebody to kill? Tupac, when he was sitting in a car right next to him. I want to try to miss me, would you please? You, yeah. there's, 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 a, there's a lot you don't know about it. And one of something that, well, that's great. Well, apparently you don't seem to realize that uh, uh, Orlando Anderson, who was Suge Knight's sworn enemy, a member of a different gang, hated the guy. Appeared at Suge Knight's trial on the on the beating in Los well, Angeles. So, that's right. He paid him to go there. That They're, doesn't mean he, that just means he pressured him and, you know, that there's, doesn't there's mean a, there's he... Pl there's a lot of evidence that Suge Knight and Orlando Anderson had dealings that preceded Tupac Shakur's well, murder and came afterward. Well, after the fact, I mean, he was trying to keep himself out of prison. Orlando was a crip, Suge was a blood. They don't mix you through, usually. Yeah, I know. Um, so you're saying that... She did, wait, you know what? She did that better than you did Homeboy, okay? <laughs> you're one of those cool white chicks, aren't you? Come on. Frank, I didn't know that after the MGM that um, everybody stopped off at Suge Knight's house and then went on to uh, the club. Well, the reason that... Uh, and Orlando was following the whole time? No, I'm, no one knows that. No, no one knows where Orlando Anderson was. was during that time. But he just... So whoever it was, it was Orlando, he just happened to pull up alongside the car. He must have been following. Well, he would have either had to have been following or he would have had to have been there the whole time in order to know the route that we had taken. Yeah, also, after being beaten up, I don't think he necessarily had to be following you guys the whole time. I think he was like, yo, when I run up on this guy again, I'm going to blast him. And that's, and I think that's what happened. So where it happened, it happened where it happened, but it could have happened any, any no time that night. He was that geeked up to, to you know, to handle his business. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he had a motive. I have a book by Frank Alexander. Yeah, the, the main source of all theories that Frank's should not night, talking to any, He doesn't talk to the police. The, I can tell you that right now. I've got copies of his interviews with the LA, with well, they Las Vegas. Up all they, the they, time. they didn't make this. They don't lie. But that's the thing. That's why we're the problem in LA because cops don't lie. Did you talk to anybody? I'm telling you that right now. I've been on the stage. Las Vegas police. I had to speak to obviously the homicide detective. Excuse me, my Frank, my Frank Alexander his own account uh, you know, after he learned he heard from a couple of sources that uh, Suge Knight was going to have him killed he calls up David Kenner I had phone calls I before, 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 before you finish anything you, 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 you call, call, call David before. Kenner he starts reading to you from what you said to the Las Vegas police I didn't say that Las Vegas police don't like David <laughs> Kenner very well by the way and I don't think they're going to be sharing their little well I don't think I, I think there was a dirty cop him. inside that gave but, it but, but that's just the thing you can't now, it's tough to say on the one hand that hey these are LAPD or Las Vegas PD corrupt cops and then we believe everything that I they say. You know, you, know saying, well, you know what I'm saying? It's tough, it's tough well, to have well, it both Kathy, ways. You know? Kathy, how did it come that you published Tupac's uh, autopsy in your book? Um, the the uh, autopsy that photo? photo? Him, yeah. um, it was leaked to me, and, and because of the mainstream articles about him uh, faking his own death, we went ahead and uh, made a decision to include it in the book. And do you think... Oh, and that's supposed to be fake, too. Do you happen to know what happened to Tupac's remains? Yeah, creamy. And then what happened? His mother took him to a park in L.A. and scattered him in a very small ceremony with friends and family. Well, my understanding oh. is that a Compton police officer named James Green transported the ashes who was working for death row. He records. took him, picked him up from Davis Mortuary 
at um, about uh, 3 o'clock that afternoon on Saturday and hit the plane and drove back to... According, uh, according to LAPD. To, well, what does LAPD have to do with Las Vegas? Well, I'll tell you what happened. What, the, the, the cops <laughs> who were there, work, they've already thrown one LAPD. Well, as long as he didn't get cremated at that place down there in Georgia. That's right. right. <laughs> we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll take some questions from our audience. Let's turn up the heat. Take some questions from the audience, but first I have a question. Randall, um, anything you want to say that you felt like you haven't been able to say? Yeah, yeah I'm just going to reiterate that Frank Alexander has said two different things, and, and I understand why he's afraid. The, other, the two best witnesses in front of him have been killed. Uh, one was Yahoo Fula, who was the only witness there who was willing to identify the killer. The Las Vegas cops let him get out of town uh, uh, without interviewing. Two months later, he was in the hallway of a housing project in New Jersey wearing a bulletproof vest. Two kids walked up and shot him in the head. You're trying to make your fame and fortune off of stories that you don't even know about. You've never even probably listened to a I don't need to make my fame ever. and fortune off of, you know, my last <laughs> you know, book Why, why don't you come out with a book and an article and Rolling Stone that's a bunch of lies then? Well, and I'll so tell you this, it's really... Lies, not, i, I got to tell you, man. Concerning Tupac. You're the liar. 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 Frank, let him, let him <laughs> finish talking here. Go ahead. Frank. Frank Alexander has told two different stories. There's a record of the fact that what he said... I have a book called Got Your Back, The Right Stories in there. Also, and Before I Wait, there's the right story. We'll be able to see that. But we won't be able you don't have a video out, do you? Come by my lord. What is your name? Amar. Amar? Yeah. All right. Where are you from, Amar? Uh, from, well, I'm from Northridge, but I go to school at UC Irvine. In That's kind of complicated. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, what do you major in? Uh, criminology, Law and Society. Oh, you came to the right show. Yeah. Yeah, who did it? Uh, see, that's, that's my question. That's though. your homework. Yeah. <laughs> my question is, why is it so implausible that he did fake his own death? Well, you say it's Orlando Anderson, but then if it's so simple that it was Orlando Anderson, why was the Las Vegas Police Department unable to convict him or even, you know, arrest, arrest him? They had him, uh, Compton Police actually arrested him, and uh, Las Vegas Police um, decided to let him go. Um, I'm told deep within the department that a big trial like that would have been bad for tourism. See, and it was a trial, it was a case that they absolutely just wanted to go away. And, you know, number one, it's a closed network, it's a closed, it's a closed society in Las Vegas. No way, he didn't have enough power, enough money to pay anybody off in that town. Look, unfortunately, happen. young black men get shot all the time. And it's like Chris Rock said, people want to think that there's a conspiracy and they were assassinated. They weren't assassinated. Just a they were just shot. Just, just answer one question for me, Chris. You tell me any other uh, celebrities, black or white, any color, who've been shot dead in public on a public street in front of hundreds of witnesses, and five years later, six years later, there's no arrest. Give me you a know, single it's, it's, example it's, it's, in the history of the I can, I can give you, I, I'm, I'm quite sure if I looked, I could give you examples of, of everyday people that are shot down in the street, no, and we don't find it. Yeah, but I mean, what makes it so did they interview any Elvis? There were hundreds of witnesses. I agree. You know what? Far, far be it from me to think that there, there isn't anything ever funny within the within the uh, the confines of a murder investigation, particularly when you're dealing with police departments as 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 corrupt as the LAPD. I just don't think all sometimes it, all these pieces just don't fit, and sometimes it is what it is. All right. Well, that's our time. I'd like to thank our panel: Randall Sullivan, Chris Reed, Frank Alexander, and Kathy Scott. As always, if we make one person a little paranoid, then we've done our job. I'm Kevin Neal, and I change my password every day. See you next time.